Creed franchise tries to pride itself on being historically accurate, but if you want accuracy, you're going to need to go to the source, or at least to somebody who knows what they're talking about. And Judith, you seem to really know what you're talking about when it comes to 19th century London. So how did you get involved with this game? I wrote a book called The Victorian City, which was a description of what the streets of London were like in the 19th century. And the Assassin's Creed people, when they started this project, were using the book as source material. And finally they decided, if they're using the book, why don't they just ask me? So they did. Do you feel like this is one of those games that's pretty close to the way it was in 19th century London that maybe kids could actually learn more about the 19th century by playing this game? Is it that close to being accurate? I think these games are unbelievably accurate. A friend of mine told me that she had taken her 10-year-old to Rome and he'd never been there before. And she said, well, today we're going to go to the Colosseum. And he said, it's that way. And she said, you're right, but how do you know that? And he said, Assassin's Creed. And she said, okay, smart ass, take me. And he said, oh, well, I can only do it over the rooftops. <laughs> Talk about your experience, uh, just working with the dev team here. How were they with you? What was your relationship like? Well, it was wonderful. I only met three or four of them the first time I went to Quebec City. And at, at that point, we hadn't agreed I was going to work together. This was just a preliminary chat. And after that, it was entirely email. And they were just the loveliest people to work with. Because often when you do these kind of historical consulting jobs, you're treated as the enemy. You're the people who say, no, you can't do that, no, you can't do that, and that's all wrong. I'm sorry, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. These people just wanted more. They said, that's fabulous, give us more. That's fabulous, give us more. That's wonderful. And so it was a joy 